Yo, welcome back everybody and the Kingpin semifinals just happened and they they were amazing and uh, I'm just gonna run through the event and just tell you my thoughts on every fight. Uh, I'm gonna do it for the for the winners bracket because I care more uh, about the winners bracket in general. And we had Barbie versus Emily Brooke, and that that was actually a good fight. I'll be honest, that was a good fight. A bar, I, I did expect Barbie to win, and she did win, which I'm very hyped for. She is going to be facing off against Julie in the finals, which is I cannot wait. But yeah, Barbie did what, exactly what she had to do. She you know jabbed a lot and kept her distance. I think what Emily's I'd say like around five one five four and. Barbie's like six feet tall, so she did exactly what she had to do. Very hyped to see that fight. Then after we had Elbrook versus Julie Polka, and it—I was gonna say upset, but it wasn't upset. I mean, all the, I, the Brazilians went off in that stadium when Julie won. Uh, L did lose, unfortunately, but I'm happy where it like went. I don't think Elle is going to be facing off against her sister in the finals. I think she confirmed that, which... I don't know why you'd go in this with your sister if you were just going to leave, if you were to end up to fight anyways, because, I mean, then... One would want the other to lose, which is bullshit. You know, it's, it's whatever, though. Uh, I think Elle will probably just go back to Misfits and do whatever. But, yeah, now we got Julie versus Barbie, and... That, that's going to be an amazing fight. Then we moved on to the men fights. And we got Jarvis versus Gid. And that was a... That was a very, very technical and good fight from both of them. Jarvis did learn to move his head and duck and weave punches a lot. But she still has some more stuff to learn. Because Gib came out on top. Gib is a fucking animal. Uh, I heard people clowning Gib after his match saying like only, he only fought someone who had two fights. When, might I add, the same people who say that thought Jarvis was going to win. So, I mean, they were already downplaying Gibb from the start, but, you know, it is what it is. Everyone's going to switch up and hate, you know. You never win, but, yeah, so, main event time. Kenny versus Winterson. I think that might have been the best performance I've seen anyone in the influencer scene. Dude, Ken no trim Kenny is no fucking joke at all. Like, he, he comes here to win. Like, it was nuts. He was, like, dancing in the ring. I think he hit, like, fucking this shit. And then he, what, wind his arm on my, bah! Boom! I don't know, I don't know what Winterson was doing. I thought he was gonna pose more of a threat. Uh, yeah, I did add Kenny and Gib winning, which is awesome. But, there was a sick, there was a nasty thing where Kenny did this. One, he did it again. And then, fucking, Winterson threw a punch. He's like, oof, oof, oof. Dude, it was so clean. Oh my god. Dialing on Winterson Nunez. Cross guard stomping into range. Oh, oh, again. Oh it's beautiful. This might be the best performance I've seen in influencer boxing. I'm not even joking with you. Look at the head movement. Are you kidding me? Unbelievable. King. What Kenny. am I seeing right now? Um, after those performances, I'm I think it's safe to say that my top five would be Jake, KSI. Kenny Gibbs and Dean, I think, is my exact list. Um, I, I, I'm honestly, <clears throat> I'm probably, depends on who Deji fight next, and if it's, like, a good opponent, and if it's good, like, if he beats someone like Salt Poppy next, then I think he's gonna be top five as well. But, yeah, Kenny, Kenny's, dude, Kenny's nuts. Like, Kenny, I'm praying you don't get a haircut. I just never get a haircut. <laughs> like, it's... The whole event was just amazing. Like, levels from the first event. Just the hype in general. And I think throughout the whole um, stadium, the whole thing was packed. There was no one leaving it or anything. So, that's definitely a step up from the first event. I'm thinking about... I might just... I may make a whole video on Gib and Kenny alone. And I might make like an early prediction video and then probably like a later prediction video uh, when the fight happens. I think the fight is rumored to be happening in September, I think. 
It was supposed to happen next month, but everything got pushed back a month due to the bankruptcy issue. But I think September is going to be the, no- the month for the finals. Quickly are the predictions I have Kenny. Until I see more, I've got yeah, I've got, I've got Kenny winning the whole thing. I feel like it was amazing. Uh, but yeah, definitely tell me what you guys thought of this whole event because it was levels above. I think that they should add some more stuff they had from the first event. Like, I think that watch party that... Who? who? I think it was Harry Panero and Philly, I think, were the people. And they brought guests on there. I think they should do that again. I think they should do other stuff with the event to make it more fun. And, yeah, so tell me what you guys thought in the comments down below. Because I thought it was amazing. And, yeah, don't forget to like and subscribe as well. Thank you all for watching. I'll probably have another video out tomorrow. So, yeah, peace.